Biological Approach Introduction to the Biological Approach All that is psychological is first physiological, that is because the mind appears to reside in the brain, all feelings, thoughts, and behaviors ultimately have a biological-slash-physical causation. All things ultimately are controlled by our biological aspects, such as running, laughing, crying, and pretty much everything else. That is because even if we were physically doing nothing, our brain was active, and the biological process of chemical and electric signaling was active between the nerve cells. Various parts of our brain are designated to perform different functions and actions. Physical movement, memory, hormonal responses and emotions are controlled by assigned parts of our brain. For instance, a hormone called adrenaline would be released during the excitement of a race and would help you to run faster. Brain scanning used for psychological research. Psychological research now employs brain study and research of living people though brain scans and thus they can now draw objective conclusions about the relationship between behavior and brain structure slash activity. The two types of medical scans are Structural scans, these take detailed pictures of the brain, the nervous system and helps in diagnosing physical injuries such as concussions and large-scale intracranial disease such as tumors. Functional scans, these are able to show different activity levels in different parts of the brain. Functional magnetic resonance imagining, fMRI, is a neuroimaging procedure using MRI technology that measures brain activity and blood flow by detecting changes that are associated with it. In the simplest fMRI study a participant would alternate between periods of completing a specific task and a control or test state to measure baseline activity. The fMRI data is then analyzed to identify brain areas in which the signal changed between the activity and the rest state and it is inferred that these areas were activated by the task. The data from an fMRI scan be used to generate images illustrating how the brain is working during different tasks. Such a scan allows for a living brain to be portrayed and seen without primarily resorting to surgical procedures. The standard procedure goes with the patients placed in a scanner which sends strong magnetic fields through their head. The magnetic field provides a clause for the nuclei in the hydrogen molecules to spin in a certain way, which the scanner picks up. Because hydrogen concentrations vary in different parts of the brain, the scanner is able to construct a detailed picture of the brain. Areas that have been shown to have significant association with emotion and memory are the subcortical areas of the brain, including the amygdala.